Yeah, hi. Good evening, guys. So, in this video, like, I'm only making a very simple programs of linked list, and this is not. This is this. This video is not for the students who already have some background in the programming. This is just very a novice coding session where the main idea would be like how the linked list work. So this is for the absolute beginner. So don't like poke me, sir. You're not taking any complexity consideration or you're not used the double pointers as a reference and all that. So this is just a very basic program about the linked list and its various functions. Okay. So let's start the very basic program. So hash include stdio dot h right so this this is basically for the printf and scanner we normally use it and then hash include std lib dot touch why we use this now uh, because your implementation of null is inside the standard library header file okay now let me make structure for my data structure link list and i'm naming that structure as a node and this data structure is basically comprising of two part first part i'm naming it as an information part which contains data and my data is a form of integers so i'm writing int info second basically a pointer second part will be a pointer part which will contain the address of a next node so since it is a pointer it will contain definitely it will contain the address and address of next node means it's a self-referential structure so a self-referential structure has to be of type struct so it will be struct node star link right and also a variable of the structure let's suppose a struct node star first so it can be first it can be head or it can be anything so this is your structure variable right and these are structure members and if you want to access the members you will have to use the structure variable first okay now let's make various prototypes like void create to create a link list void display to display a link list and then various other functions like void insert underscore beginning void insert underscore end right let me first implement these two function and later on we'll be writing all this function basic function so void main let's first function is your create function then let's display the link list we will create let me make a program void create okay so in order to create a link list what we require first is require a node right we first want to create a node so let me name that as struct node star ptr so what i'm going to do just now i'm going to create a node okay and how you create a node you basically allocate the memory so how to allocate a memory it is just nothing you simply write ptr is equal to struct node star malloc size of struct node so what this function will do this function will allocate a memory of size structure 
of your size structure. Then, malloc returns what? Malloc returns a void pointer. So you have to typecast that pointer to struct. So whatever the node that would be created, that would be assigned some address. So you are storing that address to a variable called as ptr. That's why you have declared a ptr value. PTR struct poster, right? So after that, since you've created your one node and you have assigned an address to it and you have assigned that address to a variable called PTR, so a node gets created, right? So what you will do now, since a node gets created, you want to assign that node with some information or with some kind of data. So let me take another variable, int data. And let me write a printer statement. Enter the value of first node. Let's take the input. Okay, so far so good. So, so far what we have done, we have simply created a node, assigned the value to the node, right? So far we have not assigned the value, we have simply taken one input, the data as input. Now I want to assign this data to your, which part to your information part of the structure. So, how will you assign that? So, this is your node, right? So this node will have in two parts. First is info and second is a link. So this data is gonna enter into the info part. So what you will do, you will simply write that PTR arrow info is equal to data, right? So info part gets some entry. Now, next, the important part here is since you have created a node, and once I have declared a structure at the very beginning, I specify one thing clearly here that this first pointer is nothing but your structure variable, and this will point to the very first node of a linked list. I'm not going to move this first pointer. I'm basically using some other pointer, assigning the address of first to those pointer, and we'll be moving that pointer, but not the first pointer. First, I am assuming it is pointing to the very first node of a linked list, so no need to move the first pointer. So once you have created this PTR pointer, now since this first node gets created, you want to assign the address of this first node to your first pointer. So writing first is equal to PTR, right? So this first pointer is now pointing to the very first node of a linked list. And so your first node gets created here and the first point is pointing to the very first node of a linked list. Now, in order to make a linked list, what you require, you require node, 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 one by one, one by one, until unless you want it to finish it, right? So basically, you need the concept of loops so that you can create node by node by node. So what I'm doing here, I'm running a simple while loop here, do while loop, and I'm creating one more node, CPT again, is equal to struct node star malloc size of struct node. So this will create one more node and with the name CPT. So now one more node gets created. So you want to again assign some data to this node. So I'm simply copying it, pasting it here. Enter the value of next node. So scanner data, right? So now you want to assign this data to this node information part. So CPT arrow info is equal to data. Okay, so we have two nodes get created, one with the name PTR, other with the name CPT. Now, you want to link this PTR with CPT, right? So what you will do, you will write PTR arrow link is equal to CPT. Okay, this is all, now the link part of the first node is connected with the second node, which is your CPT. Uh, so what we will do now, so let's suppose if we run a loop again, a new node will be created. The info part will assign some data and then PTR link is equal to CPT. Now, let me tell you again a very important thing which I'm telling you right now. Let's suppose we run a loop once more. 
so a new node will be created with the name cp that would be your third node right since your ptr is pointing to the first node and now the cpt is pointing to your third node so when you write this line cpt info is equal to data so third node will contain the data but since this ptr is pointing to the first node and you're linking the first node with the third node so the link with the second node gets the started right it is lost somewhere so what you will have to do you will have to assign this ptr with the address of the second node so that when you run a loop again and a new node get created since you've incremented the pointer ptr now the ptr is pointing to what the second node so it gets connected to the third node so so far so good so now what to do so you have cpt info data ptr link is equal to cpt ptr is equal to cpt now printf i'm asking that press y or y for new node and if you do not want a new node you, pre you can press any other character so it will exit right so i'm asking the user to print y so scanf percentage c comma address ch take one more character here care ch it's always a good idea to flush so that your scan if can work perfectly fine otherwise in certain scenarios it will cause a problem because since the enter is inside the buffer so it will create a problem so you will have to flush that buffer enter so scan f this is done so what we have done till now we have created a node initially we have assigned a value to that node right then we have assigned the first pointer which is pointing to the first node so first node gets created till this now in a while loop what we have done we have created one more node with the name cpt and we have assigned some data to cpt then ptr this ptr first node link part is pointing to the second node then we are moving the first pointer to the second node itself so that again when we run a loop so a new node will be created and when some new node is created since ptr is pointing to the previous node so it's get connected properly fine so far so good so after that we will write while if ch is equal to equal to y or ch is equal to equal to y now let's suppose since somebody puts n as a character so it will come out of the loop once it come out of the loop it means your link list is finished once your link list is finished you should gonna make ptr link as null right so this this is my link list gets created right now i want to display the link list so let's display so write again a very simple function i'm writing i'm writing void display write instruct node star ptl now you since your link list is created and the first point is pointing the very first node of a link list now you want to display the link list so you are taking one more pointer ptr and you want this ptr to point to the first node of a link list and the first node of a link list is containing the address first right so you what you will do right ptr is equal to first now this ptr points to the first node of a link list so now what you want you want the values to get printed in a sequential manner like 10 20 30 40 so you need a loop right so loop kab tak chahiye tumhe yaar jab tak ki null nahi hai right let's suppose agar mere ko values print karani hai 1 to 5 so i'll write i less than equal to 5 because i want the values only from 1 to 5 similarly i want values from starting till the end of the link list and end of the link list means what a null so 
what you will do you will simply run a while loop saying while ptr not equals to null yeah jab tak mera ptr null na ho main kuch values print kar raha hu aur wo values kya hongi print percentage d let's say just for easy viewing of the data we are using tab print f percentage d slash t ptr arrow info right so the info part get printed now you want your ptr to move to the next node just compare it to the simple loop i am telling you again and again compare it to the simple loop you are writing for i equals to 0 right so similarly i have initialized my pointer with first then you write i less than equal to 5 i am writing while well, ptr not equals to because i want to run all the values like till the linked list is finished now ptr in for the first value gets printed now when we want to print 1 to 5 we keep on incrementing the value of i as i plus plus similarly in this i want to increment my ptr of should so that it points to the next node so i will write ptr is equal to ptr arrow link now my ptr is pointing to the next node so again the loop will run info part gets printed so print okay so this 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 is absolutely fine so far so good right now okay so let me check whether this is working or not so let me execute this okay must return end ah end main we have the habit of typing the turbo c return zero cpt pose not declared in the scope struct no star ptr comma star cpt okay let's check it now okay so no error so far so let's see what happens so enter the value of first node let's suppose 10 enter the value of next node let's suppose 20 press y let me press a y enter the next node 30 again y 60 again enter the value of next node let's suppose 80 now i'm printing suppose u okay so 10 20 30 60 80 it's gets printed okay all right guys so this is a very simple simplest code but do not try to write such type of code in the interview because this is just for you know, this 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 code suffice and for the companies like tcs Pro and Infosys, that is fine but for any good product based company do not write this code please so that that programming practice we'll do later on this is just for the simplest exercise for the very novice programmer who just want to enter into this programming world that how to create a simple link and display okay thank you guys take care bye